Hi, this is Josh from PharmacistTips.com, here to talk a little bit about uh, changing from Valsartan to Irbasartan, or con the conversion between the two medications. Um, first up, why are we seeing more of this? There was a Valsartan recall. Uh, this was from FDA.gov. They found a they found this chemical in Valsartan. It's basically a side effect of the production of Valsartan. Usually it's kind of washed out, but some of it was left behind uh, when they were making the tablet. So there has been a recall because it's been shown exposure to this chemical can increase the risk of cancer. Uh, the amount found in the tablets was very low and it uh, there was a very low risk of cancer. In fact, it was so low that uh, often they said people could finish taking the Valsartan that they had on hand. It just exceeded the acceptable levels of this chemical. Um, so much of the Valsartan has come off the market. Now, there are still some Valsartan products available from different manufacturers. So some people have not had to switch that you could check to see if your pharmacy could get Valsartan from a different manufacturer and the dose that you've been using. Now they both are ARBs or angiotensin receptor blockers. Their basic effect that they have in the body is that they cause the blood vessels to relax. So uh, that's how the blood pressure comes down, reducing your risk of heart attack and stroke. So they are used, both of them to use uh, to treat high blood pressure. The doctor may use them for diabetic nephropathy. That just means uh, as your kidney function starts to wane when you're a type 2 diabetic, uh, sometimes this medication, depending on labs and indications of your kidney function, may help preserve some of that kidney function. And sometimes it's used in heart failure patients. Both of them can be. The Valsartan or generic for Diovan in the U.S. Uh, is available in 40, 80, 160 and 320 milligram tablets and then when combined with hydrochlorothiazide or often abbreviated HCT which is a mild diuretic which we see frequently used with um, medications to reduce blood pressure we have the 80 12 and a half the 160 12 and a half the 160 25 the 310 12 and a half and the 320 25 now Airbus Artin, uh brand name Avapro in the U.S., just available 75, 150, and 300 milligram tablets, and just a couple combos with the hydrochlorothiazide, 150, 12.5. So when switching, you, you may have to take the hydrochlorothiazide separate from your dose. Approximate equivalent dosing. Now, this is this is just kind of what we're seeing. Your doctor is going to take other factors into account, whether your blood pressure is controlled well, whether you need an adjustment in dose. But usually Valsartan 40, uh, most people would start on the 75 of Irbisartan 80, probably 150. Uh, 160, That's there's some wiggle room there. Kind of depends where you're at, how your blood pressure is controlled. Could either go... 150 or 300 and then the 320 would put you in the 300 range again completely up to your healthcare provider um, they'll take several factors into account to determine the approximate or the best dose for you and whenever you switch medications you want to monitor to make sure that everything's going as expected of course we'd want to check our blood pressure because uh, that's what this medicine is used for. We want to make sure it's working properly. Your doctor will order, most likely order labs to check potassium. We can sometimes see potassium retention with ARBs. Um, kidney function, of course, is important. Uh, liver function. And they may uh, check other labs as well. That's uh, something your, your health care provider will determine. All right, so I hope you have found this information useful. I appreciate you watching. Always talk to your healthcare provider with if you have questions. You know, doctors or pharmacists. Pharmacists are often easier to get a hold of if you have questions about recalls or medications. And always watch for side effects. Talk to your doctor if you think you're having side effects. Talk to your doctor before changing uh, your medications or your diet or lifestyle. And I appreciate it if you'd subscribe to my channel if you found this information useful. Thank you for watching.